words change, so we have to practice changing. That means we're never done learning it, and it's never easy. Hey, I'm Eric Haugen. There's my links. All the information is below. All that other stuff. If you don't know, caged is a sorting system. It basically goes like this. All chords appear five ways, like a C, like an A, if we had a capo, that would be an A, like a G, if we had a capo, I do it this way, like an E, again, that's a capo, like a D, I do it this way, or you could do that way. Pretty simple idea, like, okay, that's interesting, yeah, but here's the deal. It's really tempting to shrug and go, I get it, and then move on to the next shiny hot lick or something like that to really get this thing. There's this huge difference between knowing something cognitively and being like, that's cool, that's interesting, and really knowing it mechanically. Because as I said, chords change in songs, and so we have to practice changing those chords in location if we really want to unlock the fretboard, as you know, that's the thing we always are talking about. So, let's look, for example, at the changes from this Velvet Underground song. We got an F, a B flat, and a G minor. You know, that's nice. That would be your standard first thing to do as a guitar part. But it doesn't end there. Anything that we can do one way, there's four other ways we can do it. So for example, what if I went up to this version of F? This is a C-shaped F. And by the way, I'm gonna chart out these forms and throw them up on my Patreon page for free. Head on over there if you want like a, a hard copy to kind of look back at. Okay, so there's an F chord that's right there. Where? Where, oh where, oh where, is a B-flat chord that's right here. Ha-ha, there's a B-flat chord that's right there. Okay, then that also means there's got to be a G minor chord somewhere. Oh, yep, there it is there. Let's pull up the backing track and see what that sounds like. Got my little iPad over here. Mm -hmm. That's how I can make up the, that these rhythm guitar parts that kind of edge over into lead guitar, which is like, that's the cool stuff, right? That's, that's the thing we're always trying to work on. But here's the thing, it's never easy. It's not even easy for me, and I've been playing this way for a long time, because every song, you have to rebuild that map you know, depending on what the chords are in the song and be like, all right, well, if I'm gonna start here, then I'm gonna go over there, then I'm gonna go over there, and it's not instant. If you're a virtuoso, it is. I'm not, you might not be. So just know that, that you have to really be patient, diligent, and curious, and just give yourself all the time in the world to just muck around with this stuff. Speaking of which, if you want to be more patient and curious about this stuff, I do have a new course coming out on truefire.com. I'm going to put the affiliate link below. Uh, that one's gonna be uh, coming out October, nope, Pre-order is October 25th. Official course release is November 8th, and it's uh, Guitar Zen Pentatonic Double Stops. And like I said, the affiliate link for pre-order will be below. You're going to hear me talk more about it when it's actually out. But yeah, it's more of this stuff. It's more of the chord shapes and then what you can do with them. 
I think, did I say everything? Yeah, check the link below, it's all down there. The next thing I want to talk about is this layering that, dude. These shapes, sure, they're chord shapes. There's F, here's the next F, the D shaped, the C shaped, the A shape, and the G shape, or that. You want to think of it. They contain not only that, but yo, know, the triads are in there too. are in there also. Also your pentatonic scales. And that's how I'm able to like, once I've constructed my changes for the song, that's when I get to decide what I'm going to do with it. Am I going to put a little fill in here? Am I going to make it into a whole new chord? Because also all the other colors of the chord are there too. F, F major 7. F, F major 7, F6, back to major 7, sus 2, sus 4, back to F. It's all there. It's, 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 it's just a way to organize your garage to get these shelves up and start to put stuff with other stuff because I know how it is. We pick up all the stuff randomly throughout the internet and don't know what to do with it and so it makes it so much more able to do stuff when you have it sorted it like well no those go with that those go with that those go with that that's it so your homework is if you know your cage shapes good job that's awesome the next step with this stuff is simple two to three chord changes just in like I said there's always going to be five different ways to do it and so that means yeah you're never done practicing this stuff you're never done I'm never done working on it that's why you see me by the way do all my Hendrix double stops videos that's really just me practicing this system being like I like this song let me go ahead and see what happens if I put it over here or start it over there or combine it with that Hendrix double stops is more um, enticing title than Eric practices his cage shapes, but that's what it is. That's what it actually is. Thanks so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do, even if it's just clicking like and subscribe. That keeps me in business with the algorithm relevancy because I don't run ads on my channel. If you see an ad, know that it was put there by the publishing robot. I don't make that money that goes to the publisher. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. Happy Friday. Eat pizza. Support me on Patreon.